I want to show you how this spectacular light board works. First, it's just a piece of clear glass in a frame like a whiteboard, and it has special markers. They are Expo Bright sticks, and I want to show you how they work. So come here. I'm going to write the word fluorescence. on the board so that you can actually see how this works. Right now, the light in the board is not on, but I want to show you what happens as I turn it up. You can actually see that uh, the marker is now actually glowing quite a bit more than it did before just under the studio lights. I'll take some other colors and draw a little flower. I'm not a botanist, so I have no idea what this is. I'll put a blue flower head on it. And then some pollen in the middle. And so it looks quite a bit different with the lights off which I'm trying to do. I'm turning it off. So you can actually see that the contrast now is quite a bit different and you can probably not see the color very well at, at all. So I'm going to turn it back up, try to get out of the way of the flower so you can actually see. And now I also want to show you how it actually works. So come here. So what you're looking at is the bottom of the light board frame. You should be able to see that there's individual LEDs along the bottom that light up the board from the bottom up. What you are looking at now is the bottom corner and the camera is panning up the side. And I want you to notice a couple of things. One is that there's a lot more light at this top of the frame than there is on the side and that's because the light is coming from the bottom and there's much more reflection off the top of the frame than there is off the sides but there actually isn't any other light being thrown up this glass other than the LED strip at the bottom. So it's acting as a light pipe which is how fiber optics work. You put it in on one side it comes out the other with very little loss on the sides. I'm going to show you that this glow is actually just the light. This is the LEDs on the bottom. So I've now turned it off and now I'm turning it back on. And you can see that the, it's just a light intensity. And then after you actually have captured everything on film, what happens is that there's a digital image inversion. which it happens in another part of the studio here that I'm standing in. And so I have purposefully worn something that has actual letters that you can read. And I'm going to show you what happens now as they digitally invert it. Can you read it? Notice the part on my hair changes. Everything else changes too. The flower should move to the other side. Everything else should be inverted, including the lettering. 